Hi, I'm Zara from Hi Pop. Uh, today we will be unboxing and taking a closer look at the Foldio 3 25 inch foldable studio light tent. Thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, for more information, how to's, unboxings, feel free to subscribe. We also have Facebook and Instagram, which is at Hypop. And then check out our website at www.hypop.com.au. In saying that, let's get to it. Okay, so the Fodio 3's box is so much bigger than the other ones. It takes a while to pull everything out. But first things first is the actual studio. It's so little. And then we have the backdrops. These ones come with Velcro instead of using the magnets. So the Foldio 2 has magnets to hold the backgrounds in. Foldio 3 has Velcro. So if you want to make your own backgrounds, you're more than welcome to. And then inside here, we have some instructions and we have, it's really heavy, ah. this is power cable, oh and the dimmer, so this one comes with a little dimmer in the power cable. And it's just more power cables. And then inside the folio, the lights are already attached. Okay, so the Foldio 3 is quite a lot smaller than other light tents. Most other light tents probably come up to about here. So I've done a really good job at making it really compact, really light. It's got a built-in handle so you can take it with you. It's also put together with magnets so it sticks itself back in together so in saying that it's pretty easy to put together um, when you're setting it up where you see the velcro down the bottom here that's the bottom of the panel it's of the setup so you start from the top pull it out attach a magnet to the magnet Boom. and then all you have to do just keep attaching. And you're done. Okay, so the Foldio 3 is made of the same material as the 1 and the 2, the corrugated plastic. They have gone ahead and attached the LED panels for us this time instead of us attaching it ourselves. And they have also added an additional panel for more light because there's more space in here. With the backdrops, they've attached the Velcro to the backdrop for us as well and the Velcro stick is on the back. So you've got four up the top to keep it as close to the back as possible and then two at the front to help keep the backdrop in place. Attaching the backdrop is super simple. All you have to do is line them up. So I'll just go ahead and line this up for us. And then these ones just come in the front. And there you have it. So we've plugged in the power adapter. It's pretty simple putting everything together. And then you've got a little dimmer here as well. So you just plug that in just like that. You've got two ports at the top. So one is for the LEDs for the Foldio 3, and the other one is for the halo bars, which I'll get into later. And then you've got two dials, one for each port, and they just change the intensity of the LEDs. So this part here goes up the top. You just plug that in, and then you just dial up and down for whatever intensity you need. The Foldio 3 has three LED panels, I guess you'd call them. They've got a total of 96 LED chips, an inbuilt diffuser, and it's a 5700 Kelvin temperature. So these are the halo bars. You get two in a pack, 
and they just plug in the front which we've already plugged in and then you can attach it up here if you want to you don't have to if you don't want to this part here is what plugs into the other port that I was telling you about and then you just go up and down the coolest part about these is you can just sit it in front to light up from the bottom or they have inbuilt magnets so then you can attach it to the side and then you can light them both up at the same time or just one or the other or none but they're pretty fun little toys this here is the 360 I'm not gonna plug it in today but it plugs in just here just here and then it's got an inbuilt LED light at the back as well which is more handy for white backgrounds so you put it in the middle you put your item at the top and then the um, halo light at the back will light up to help eliminate any shadow that this will create on the background. All of these items can be controlled by an app on your phone. At the moment, it's only available on iOS. They don't have an Android app, but I'm sure they will soon. And I'm sure you guys already know what the 360 does, but it is essentially um, like a Lazy Susan. So it goes around in a circle. You can either have it as a constant speed or you can attach it to a DSLR or your phone and then it will stop in intervals. You can tell it to stop at 24, 48, whatever you want to do as to how many images you want it to take when it stops. So it controls the phone and the DSLR to stop and take a photo when it goes around. And that's how you create those 360 videos. The 360 and the halo bars are an added extra if you really want them, but I would recommend getting the whole kit because the whole thing is designed for product photos. So if you want to take your own product photos that look really professional, but you just want to use your iPhone or you've got like a small DSLR or even if you've got a big DSLR, the whole thing is set up to make it really easy for you. You can use it for other things. It doesn't have to be product photos. Uh, we have had some people come in and use theirs for hand lettering. So they do like um, top down, put their phone up in here. They like take a little video of like flat lays, hand lettering. So that was just a quick and easy overview and unboxing of the Foldio 3. It's a really simple studio setup. Um, quite small and compact for people who are space conscious but they still need the space to take photos of bigger items. For more videos, unboxings, how-tos, overviews, subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Hypop, check out our website and blog www.hypop.com.au. Thanks for watching!